this series of models represents uh, mammalian, so you could say human uh, embryological development. Uh, and we're going to go from, uh, from left to right here with this being an oocyte that is about to be fertilized. So the sperm's penetrated, uh, and this will be a fertilized egg, if not already, momentarily. Uh, when that divides, it forms, again, two daughter cells called blastomeres, with uh, this being the two-celled stage. Uh, here we see, you know, four cells, and here are probably eight cells. Uh, and then you see a lot of cells here. So this guy, this, this embryo right here, would represent a, probably the solid ball of cells called the morula. So morula right there, and then when that, uh, that embryo hollows out, you can see that it's got a uh, chamber in here. This structure right here is called, this right by, by the way, this, this part of it is called the trophoblast. So the trophoblast is the outer, I don't know, group of cells that, that embeds. This is gonna be the interface basically with the uh, placenta. The, I'm sorry, with the mother's reproductive system. Here we see, sorry, I'm off camera. I'll put it back down, my bad. He set it up for a reason like that. So this group of yellow cells here in the middle is called the inner cell mass, and that's going to develop ultimately into the embryo. Uh, here we see that that inner cell mass has divided into two separate structures. The one on top in this case uh, is called the epiblast, and then down here this one is called the hypoblast. The epiblast is going to develop directly into the embryo. The hypoblast develops into some uh, of the extra embryonic membranes like the yolk sac and the chorion. Uh, and I'll talk more about those later. Now here we see another uh, further development of this uh, embryo. Again, you still see the epiblast and hypoblast here. The trophoblast is this outer uh, region. And uh, that's it.